is Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway banana pants cream pie. Look, everybody, it's <laughs> Betsy Wolf. Hi, Susan. Betsy, tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. We are at Apple Ridge Orchards in Warwick, New York, and we are going to do some apple picking and pumpkin picking and playing with animals. Woo! How many times have you been apple picking, Betsy? I was hoping you actually wouldn't ask that. Okay, this is my first time. I'm so embarrassed to say that. How can you call yourself an American? Ah, wow, ouch. Well. <laughs> How did you never go apple picking before? I don't know, I never went apple picking. I know that's like really, really sad. And I actually grew up in a great home, but for whatever reason, we just didn't go apple picking. We're gonna make that right Please today. Please don't judge my childhood. We're gonna make that right today. 30 seconds life story. Okay, I'm going to put 30 it. seconds on the clock, and you have to tell me your whole life story. Don't leave out the awesome parts. Ready? Oh, and this is real? Go. I was born in Visalia. I wish you could see what that geese is doing. That is not part of my 30 second story. I was born in clock. Visalia, California, <laughs> in a very small farming community, and all I wanted to do was musical theater. Yes, it's sadly true. I came home from seeing Phantom of the Opera and was like, I'm doing this. And then I had one older sister, and I copied everything she ever did. You have 10 seconds. And oh, are you kidding me? And I went to college somewhere in the middle of Ohio, and then I moved to New York, and now am making pies. You have four seconds left. And I am going to pick apples for the first time in my life today. That was the worst 30 second life story. It was the best. Give us the name of that autobiography. Uh, <laughs> diminishing Returns on each chapter. <laughs> By Betsy Wolf. Dance for grandma. Did you ever put on little shows or anything when you were little? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, actually I did. The first paycheck I ever got was $50 for singing at a tea luncheon that my Nana hosted at her church and I was hooked. I was like, wait, I'm sorry. I sing, I dreamed a dream with altered lyrics. But! At a tea function and I get paid $50. I'm in, what's this profession? What were the lyrics, what was it? A well, you can't say this hell I'm living. We were at church, so clearly I said this life I'm living. Gotcha, I thought you were like, I drank a tea in time <laughs> gone by. No, Just not like that altered for lyrics. That. Although I did do Grease once at my church and I played Kanicki. Yes, that's who I played. And they altered it so Sandy and Danny got married at the end. And there's a, now there's a B, there's, don't move. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Danny and Sandy got it's married. Okay. And uh, Rizzo didn't have a baby. There's another baby. You got Betsy, this is your first apple that you ever picked. I know, and I'm devouring it because it's amazing. It's so good. What the what, Betsy? Wolf. You're starring in a Broadway musical called Waitress. You're starring in it. What the what is that like? It's crazy. I do have moments still where I like walk up to the theater. You see a big old face on the market. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's kind of strange. I had one woman at the stage door the other day who goes, is that you? As it was like signing, she goes, is it, is that you on the, on the wall? And I was like, like yes, it is, it, it yes. is. And then she asked the bodyguard, is that her? And then I can hear her when I'm with like another fan. I'm like signing, I'm like, thank you so much. And I just hear her go, her eyes look much darker in that. I don't think it's her. And I was like, it's, New York. it's me. It's really. New York, baby. Earlier in your career, you auditioned for the esteemed director, James Lapine, and decided to learn a Sondheim song the night before the audition. It's not my finest moment. What the what? <laughs> what happened? So, I mean, you have to remember though, I was coming from CCM, this like, you know, very prestigious conservatory that you learn new material for all the time. So mm. I, of course, had a fully prepared book. And so I decided I was going to learn another hundred people the night before the, the night audition. Before the audition. It was tragic. It's one of the most complicated songs it, in musical theater. And it was the most tragic thing. If Sondheim was there, he would have died. I made up so many lyrics and they made no sense. It's okay, Sondheim wasn't there because James Lapine was there. Which was enough. Will you just give me a taste of what you did in that audition? <sighs> It was a little something like this. Another hundred people just get off of the train and the bus and the here and we are all here and we're gonna go underground and there's people around and I'm singing and I don't really know 
know what I'm singing about, but I'm here, I got here yesterday. Everybody's gay. I mean, I have no idea what I was saying. Like, no clue. But I, I kept going with this level of commitment that I think terrified them. And like, in any other circumstance, I really feel like they would have been like, thank you, but they didn't because it was so fun to watch. I've worked for James Lapine three times since then, so it didn't, it totally didn't ruin my chances. Hi. <gasps> hi. Oh my gosh, hi. Oh That's my okay. god. <gasps> I think they don't, they don't have oh, top teeth. Oh, they just I've have never bottom fed teeth. You. Oh, I've never touched one of those they things. They only have bottom teeth. Fill in the musical. Ah! First song Fill I ever remember singing was. Yes. Fill in that blank. Oh, oh, I, oh, I have to do it. Yeah. Um, first song I ever remember singing was The Rose. Sing it. Some say love, it is a hunger that drowns the thunder. I don't actually remember the <laughs> That was not okay. If wow. you were an actor, you would be written up. No. Time. My first was, audition song was was um, ba ba black sheep. No, that was not it. Just I was kidding. Like, really? That's so topical. I was obsessed with the music that makes me dance. And That's what I sang a lot. Sing it. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> I know he's around. Ouch! When the sky and the ground started ringing, it was the cut song from Funny Girl. You know. You know, don't you know? <laughs> a song I love to sing to my fiance is. <clears throat> oh, right now we're on a real uh, fast car. We get a fast car. Dump, dump. So whenever we have like a stop and drop moment, whenever that song comes on, which is usually one of us is putting it on, we have to pause and just like really, really take a moment and do it. A song I can't get out of my head lately is. Oh. Anything from moving out. That, that's enough. That is untoward, that is... sir. <laughs> Bath. Bathe me with riffs. Sing a song, any song. You have to pick the song, though. Oh, Go. um, the name of the song is going to, to be know it, Amazing Grace. <sighs> Leave no note unriffed, Betsy Wolf. Amazing. Could take a really long time. In grace, oh, how sweet, oh, sweet the sound that see that saves. She's stuck. Saved a wretch like me. If I would have warmed up, I would have gone higher. I once was lost, but now am found. He's awake. Was blind, Ooh, but now I see. I would never sing it like that in real life. That was amazing. Guess what time it is. <laughs> Hopefully not time to do a reprise. <laughs> no, no, it's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. What? I got your nose and you can have it back. First you have to sing me any song of your choosing. Any song of my choosing? Yeah, yeah. My, my brain's no longer working since I was spit on by a llama. Or maybe a goat. Or an alpaca. Oh, is it an alpaca? I don't know, Betsy. <laughs> Will you sing me that really, really pretty song from Waitress that you sing every night? <clears throat> Which one? The real famous one. Soft Place to Land? The, the real famous oh. one. Oh. I love that song. I would prefer to sing it to a goat, but I will sing it to you. Sing it to a bunny. Oh, come here. Oh, look at how she lit up. Come here. Come here. Here, watch out. Okay, here we go. She is messy, yeah, we go. but she's kind. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. <gasps> Ow. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely. It's again too high of a key. Most of the time she is out of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. That's not the harmony. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Oh, 
Betsy Wolf, you can have your nose back. <laughs> Thank you. I almost fed it to the bunnies. That was amazing. This has been another amazing episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell with Betsy Wolf and these bunnies and those llamas, the goats. Alpaca. Alpaca, a bachelor rat party, a lot of apples and pumpkins. Go see little Betsy in Waitress on the Broadway. She will not disappoint. I'll make up lyrics. <laughs> You're lucky. You have to share. No, no, no. It's getting Just molested by guys. It's still my shirt.